This question worth one mark. Best use a calculator. But here's my solution with the other calculator. So I want to have integers instead of decimals. I'll multiply by 10 to give me 4. I'll multiply by 10 to give me 80 here. Multiply by 10 to give me a 4. So I gotta do the same thing to the numerator. And I'll get 800. I'll multiply by 10 to bring this to a, an integer of 4. I'm gonna do the same thing to the numerator. So I'll get 8,000. So now I have 8,000 being divided by 4 times 4 times 4. Now, dividing a quantity by 4 is the same thing as dividing that quantity by 2 twice. So 4 into 4 goes once. 4 into 8,000. Let's divide by 2 twice. 8,000 divided by 2 is 4,000 divided by 2. Divide 4,000 by 2, that's 2,000. And that makes sense because 4 into 8 goes 2 times. Let's do the same thing to this. 4 into 4 goes once. So I'm going to divide 2,000 by 2 twice. 2,000 divided by 2 will give me 1,000. And 1,000 divided by 2 will give me 500. And that makes sense because 4 into 20 goes 5 times. Okay, let's divide this 500 by 4. So we're going to divide 4 into 4 goes once. And 4 into 500, let's divide by 2 twice. 2 into 500 is 250. And 2 into 250 goes 125 times. So my answer is 125.